And hi, everybody. I'm Bruce Rader, along with former NFL All-Pro William Fuller as we break down the upcoming game between the Washington Redskins and the Green Bay Packers. Well, the Redskins, William, have won two games in a row, but boy, are they going to get a dose of reality when they have to go to Green Bay and face Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> well, that's why we play the game. That's, that's exactly what you signed up for. Uh, it could be tough in Green Bay. I'm going to be optimistic and say that they go to Green Bay and that they uh, put up a good fight. Not saying that they're going to win the game, but I think it'll be a lot closer than what everyone anticipates. Well, we're seeing a lot of promise from the Redskins' young players on both offense and defense, but especially on offense and the running game. Darius Geis, who we didn't get a chance to see at all last year because of an injury, mm -hmm. and then first game of this season he was injured and he didn't play for the first few games, but boy did he have a great game against the Carolina Panthers. You stick him out there along with future Hall of Famer Adrian Peterson, and all of a sudden, the Redskins can run the football. <laughs> well, that's what they were hoping to do at the beginning of the year, but obviously uh, uh, didn't go as planned. But they're both two very good running backs. I think the offensive line has played better than most people thought they would. They've started to gel. Uh, so you got to be excited about the future as, as it concerns the running game and uh, hopefully passing as well with uh, with uh, Haskins and uh, you got to be optimistic about the fact that uh, they are still fighting and playing hard here uh, at the end of the year. All right, and also on defense, you're a defensive guy. You played on the defensive line, and you got to give a lot of credit for uh, to the Redskins defensive line. Last two games, six sacks two weeks ago, six sacks last week. You don't see that very often. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, you got to give them credit. That's a hell of an effort. Um, as a defensive lineman, there's nothing like getting after the quarterback and getting a sack. Uh, they've played well against the run uh, as well, and uh, you got to feel good about those young guys, uh, you know, tasting that success. And then you have Landon Collins at free safety, and he's leading the team in tackles right now. So that takes a lot of pressure off of those young defensive backs. You know, Josh Norman, I don't think we're ever going to see him on the field again. So the defensive line getting the sacks putting the pressure on the quarterback, stopping the run, landing Collins there to maybe mop things up a little bit, mm -hmm. that helps your defensive backs a lot. Yeah, it all works together. If you can stop the run, you're going to put them in obvious passing situations, and defensive backs uh, do a better job when they know <laughs> that a pass is definitely coming versus some kind of play action. Uh, uh, same thing if, if you're – your back half uh, of the defense, the secondary starts to play well and make plays. Uh, then the quarterback starts to hold the ball and the defensive line can get after the quarterback and get sacks. And so it all works together and it's, it's good to see them having success. And mentally, it's a whole new culture when you're winning. When the Redskins were going through that, what, nine losses in their first ten games, mm -hmm. i got to imagine that they're kind of dragging a little bit during the week with a two-game winning streak behind them. I'll bet you that... <laughs> they, they, they were smiling a lot more up at Redskins Park preparing for the Packers. Oh, absolutely, and they should be smiling. It's tough to lose, and, and sometimes you're playing as hard as you, you can. You're doing the extra things, the little things, and you're just not winning. It just seems like you can't catch a break, and so for them to finally have some success as far as putting that W up on the scoreboard, I think that's really important, important for uh, uh, your psyche as an individual as well as for the team. All right, thank you very much. William Fuller, he'll be with me this week on the Washington Huddle.